Now, if you guys remember, on the triangle bisector theorem, what I stated was I had a triangle look like this. Right? And what I said, what I said was, here's your lengths, A and B, and let's call these X and Y. Right? When you have a bisector, that means it cuts an angle in half, it literally cuts the triangle. Your angle bisector literally cuts your triangle into similar triangles. Where now you can say that B is to X is equal to A is to Y. So your bisector cuts your triangle in half. So what I can literally do now is break this apart, if I want to, into two different triangles. So if this is 4 and the whole length is 12, what does this have to be? 8. If this is 5.5, and that's x. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I just need to set up my proportion, which I've already talked about, is now you can say that 5.5 is to x as 4 is to 8. So what I'll write is 5.5 is to x is equal to 4 is to 8. Now we cross multiply. 4x equals 5.5 times 8, which is 44. So there you go. Anybody make it the manager? Yay.